I'm looking for the elusive Yakon. Have you seen it? Ah, I finally found it. The Yakon. This amazing, beautiful plant is growing right here in my own backyard food forest. It's fall here in Hawaii and it is time to harvest this amazing plant. The best time to harvest it is in the fall when it's a little cooler and the tubers become a little bit sweeter. So sweet in fact that you can dig them right out of the ground and take a bite right into them. So we're going to show you what it's like to harvest yakon, which tubers that you're going to eat and which tubers that you're going to go and plan out for a future harvest so that you can continue to have this wonderful, tasty food every year growing in your very own food forest. Well, that was easy. If you have yakon already growing in your garden, just go ahead and cut down the old stalks down to the ground so that you can find a clear way to be able to dig out the tubers. Be sure to save the stalks to use as mulch later on. Ah, uh, our beautiful yakon, all hacked away. It was such a nice growing plant, but something underground still awaits us. Something sweet and delectable to eat. Once it's all cleared away, you can use a small shovel or a hori hori that we're using here and you can just pry the roots out of the ground and you can see here we have our main root mass but we still have a few tubers hiding so feel free to get in there and keep digging and find those tubers because they'll there'll be more still in that soil waiting to be discovered All right, well, we got a few tubers out of that yakon plant there. This is the main mass of tubers. We also had some stragglers, some larger roots here that accidentally got cut into, but are still edible and still able to eat. You can see they look a lot like potatoes, don't they? But once we get these cleaned up, you can just bite right into them. They taste really sweet and crisp like an apple. That's why some people call them ground apples. Taking a little bite, sweet as can be. Wonderful plant to include in your food forest. Now this is the piece where people tend to get confused. So when they harvest yakon, you have these large tubers right here. And then you have these messy, rooty masses right here sometimes. Well, these messy, rooty masses are the part that you're going to replant. And this little tuber here, this is the part you're going to eat. This part here will not regrow, so you might as well just eat it. But this part here will yield you several plants. I got probably three or four plants just on this little root mass right here. On this larger root mass, we can go ahead, take out the larger tubers, and then save the more knobby nodule areas with roots coming out of them to be replant in the garden. Now, Yakon, as you can see when we were digging it out, it likes to have loose soil. So if you're out here in Pune, where I am, where it's super rocky, you're gonna need to build up some beds with some soil. It's just a fact of life out here. You need to build soil. If you're in an area that already has soil, boom, you're ready to go. These things can pretty much just go in the ground and grow anywhere. They can grow in slightly colder climates than the tropics. In fact, a frost helps them become even sweeter. They die back in the fall and that would be the time to harvest if you're in a colder climate. If you're in a warmer climate, just wait till the weather gets a little bit cooler and then you can harvest it then. But other than that, it's a really simple plant to grow in your garden. It grows as a nice shrubby understory as well as a root. It yields this 
flavorful edible root that you can put into salads or just eat plain. The bees and other pollinating insects like the flowers. And overall, this plant is just a great one to include in your food forest to take up that root shrubby layer of your food forest. And you can see behind me, I have a ulu tree, I have katuk, and this yakon takes up another space within the multi-dimensional layers of this food forest here. So I hope this video today on yakon, this amazing little root crop, that comes from the Andes that is now growing in our tropical food forest has really opened your eyes onto other possible foods that you can grow in your garden. If you like this video, why don't you go ahead, hit that like button right now, subscribe to this YouTube channel, share it with your friends. I just want everyone to be able to have the knowledge that I didn't have when I first started. So thanks for joining me today. If you ever had one of these yakons, be sure to leave a comment and then join me next week when we'll be sharing another video on homestead in Hawaii. Thanks again for watching everybody. Aloha. Ahoi ho.